this is the final project file you can download and play around with the scene okay let's go add a rectangular spline change it plane to xz its width to 90 add the instance of this object select the instance rotate it 90 degrees on y axis add both of them inside the spline mask on the spline mask change the axis to along y put everything inside the extrude object change the offset to minus 230 push it down a little bit add a plane increase its size it's a good idea to save the file i will rename this plus silhouette v1.1 live live nd add a sphere change the type to hexadrome change its segmentation to 10 change its size to 25 add a cloner put the sphere inside cloner on the cloner change it to radial change the count to 65 change the radius to 690 push it up a little bit add the cloner inside another cloner on the second cloner change linear change the count to 2 and also increase the y value a little bit to not intersect these spheres add the cloner inside subdivision surface check off the subdivision surface for now right click on the plane come to simulation tag click here add a collider tag on the plane and also on the extrude on the second cloner add a soft body tag on the soft body tag come to surface change the bendiness to 0.2 come to soft body change the softness to 20 come here and simulate forces add a, add a field force here on the object tag add a spherical field here select the spherical field on the object manager change its size to something like 13 100 on the force field come to object tag change the strength to 1000 hit on play and as you can see we are getting some where the spheres are attracted to the correct position go back to the first frame hide the field from the scene and render view also hide the plane and the extrude object from render view add a camera add a null rename the null to target right click on the camera add a target tag target tag drag and drop target to target object here on the camera alt zero push the camera down add another panel here change it to rs camera make it bigger on the camera come to coordinate drag the p greg value down until you see the whole frame hit on play again pause now adjust the camera position again i'm happy about this here save the file come here add the dom light open asset browser search for hdri on the dom light drag and drop hdri to texture here change the exposure to 0.1 also we need a plane as a background so add a plane here make it make it big enough to cover everything on the plane coordinates change the py to 200 that's good also add the point light here it's a good idea to see where we are going with the light so we activate the rs render view come here rs render view hit on play on this viewport window click on view set as render view now the simulation has been restarted so pause the redshift click on this view here and f on it hit on play pause where you are happy with the result play the rs render view again okay that's good for now on the rs point light change the exposure to 10 also add an area light to the scene duplicate the target tag from camera to the area light come to side view here put the area light on top of the background now on the area light come to project tab click on this eyedropper select a background plane that's good you can also activate the subdivision surface save the file again pause the render view for now open material add a material open it on the rs standard node change the roughness to 0.4 add a color use data here select the preset object id color add a ramp node here connect the color user data to ramp as an alt input connect the ramp to color connect the ramp to color of the rs standard on the ramp i change this to color with this blue and this red right click here change the interpolation to a step drag this blue around here drag and drop the material to the sphere here add another material and this new material change the roughness to one 
Also, I will change the base color to this blue. Come down to emission. Change the weight of emission to something like 1.3. Change the color for emission to something like this blue. Drag and drop it as a material for the background play. Hit on play for the RS render view. Click on RS area light here. Come to object. Change the exposure to 5. Hit on start for the RS render view if it is paused. And our scene is ready. And that was all for this video. Don't forget the final project file is in the description. You can download and play around with the scene. And the idea for this tutorial came from this voice from Motion Design Pro from Pinterest.